Hey guys, it's Kyle C. Doodle, uh, back with another drawing video, but today is a special. I'm doing it with Crazy Creations. Alright, we're gonna be drawing a unicorn today, but it's gonna have three parts, so three different, uh, videos. One, sketching, two, inking, and three, drawing. This is, coloring, er, coloring sorry. I come on, talk. come on. Um, so... For right now, we're going to start out with the sketching. So we're going to start with, uh, where do you want to start? I guess we can kind of start with the body, I guess. So like the bottom of the neck? No, like kind of like the body. Okay. Area. So kinda do you want to like sketch it. out the circle? Yeah, so, so. I normally do the three circles. Yeah, for so yeah, we're going to want to kind of start out with a nice gentle 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 circle so this is kind of like the indicator for like the back leg it's like this is kind of where the muscle will be and then the leg comes down but we're not gonna do the legs just yet i guess we're drawing two circles well yeah one for the chest okay, so kind of goes up the chest and around in here Okay, so we're going to give you a few seconds to kind of draw this, try and sketch it out, because I know some people are slower than others, but if this is too fast for you, you can pause the video, or if we're going too slow for you, you can speed up the video to the next step. Moving on! You sure you want to stay with that circle? Uh, yeah. Okay. I can erase it. So now we're going to start, we're start at the very top, kind of like right here. And go down. Yep. Go down with the body. And then now we're going to draw... So from here you want to draw like a thin line because this is just going to be the back of the leg. So you can create the stomach that connects. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to do the leg. Not, not yet. I'll just kind of make the markers. But yeah. If you want to, you can make... You want to create the line going down the leg. So that because I'm not going to need it anymore. Alright. So now can we do the yeah. front leg? Yeah, we finished the front leg. So we're going to start here on this side. We're gonna kind of shape it out and come down with it. Yep. All right. We're gonna make sure to do that bend at the very end, and then the hoof. I have a horrible hoof right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind I think, me. I think I have a decent hoof. All right. We don't want this video to be too long, so. Yeah, I'm, uh, put some, like, muscle kind of looks throughout it. Perfect. And then the uh, back leg? Sure. Alright. So now we can, so I want to give it, like, a nice curve. So the back leg, since this is kind of, like, more where the muscle. one is running, kind of pushes off, you want to give it more, kind of like a, a bigger... Or yeah, leg. Looks like tight. a stronger leg. Yeah, it's shaped a little bit differently. Cause you know how a way a horse can like rear yeah. and stand on its hind legs. That's why it's shaped like this. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to start for the front leg, the, the second, second front leg. Yeah. That <laughs> kind of. Weird sounding second front leg. Yes. Because you almost think you're saying second first leg, but second front leg. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Which part should we do next? Uh, the tail? Like coming up to the tail? Okay. So the tail kind of is a bit weird. It's not going to be like a straight line yeah they have more hair for their tail than fur it's more hair if you want it kind of like uh, I think that's like, like a leaf mine. shape type thing coming out the butt you do you um I'm gonna make it more look like a like a thing of fire is kind of like drooping down all right giving it some effects 
I'm so, doing the second back leg right now. Okay. So I'm gonna try and shake yeah. that out. Doing the second back leg. No, you come here. Ruffles, come here. Okay then. That's our dog Ruffles. I guess he's a troll. Um, so now with the second back leg, you want to kind of start it out. Most of the, um, tail is kind of hiding it, so you can start out and come back in. Yeah, to where your hoof is. There, now we have most of the body done. Make this some, looking now, good. Yeah, if you want to make some, some last minute edits to your body before we move on towards the head. I personally find it a good idea to do that. Alright, okay. I think we're ready to do the head now. So now if you want to start kind of here, you're almost good. This one is more, this isn't more of a sketch. Like you want to almost get it in like one good line. You're going to make a curve up, like that, starting from the back. Like that? Yep. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Alright. I went and did the hair. If you want to line like that, so you can have your head. Yeah. So now we're gonna start with the jawline. So like, this is almost like its cheek. And then starting from here, it'll pop out and come around. So have like this kind of mustachey shape. Like if it were to come back around, it would look like a mustache. Got it. Then I'm gonna put like a little seed shape right here. Looks like that's the nose. And it comes back up and around. Okay. Kyle. What? I was doing the mouth. What happened? Oh, wait, no. Okay, I see it now. So now, this is, make this very, very light up here. It's kind of like the shape of the horse. A horse's head. So now if you make a cross in it, that's going to mark exactly where your eye is going to be. I'm going to do my style of eyes because I think that will look good with the unicorn. So now, almost like directly up, kind of like facing that direction. Yeah. Before we do the ears, which is that's where the kind of arrow was pointed, you're going to raise your cross. go now right up here you're gonna make a little kind of ear shape like that come back I'm I'm doing the horn already okay I'm so like um, Casey doodle here is doing um we'll, we'll go with the horn so now if you want you can give it like a little Kind of like almost like the where the fingernails come out, like you have a little cuticle that kind of like pulls with it. Like it's the skin that kind of comes around it. So you kind of get it like almost like a dragon horn, the way it has like that little bit of skin. It comes up. So now you can add your second ear because that goes behind it because the horn is right in the middle. Now on with the hair. So the way I'm doing the hair is going to be a bit different from him. So my hair is going to be a bit longer. So I'm going to have a kind of a bit of hair coming out here. But then the mane, which is kind of like here -ish, will start about here. And then the mane is going to end about here. And the longest point, like the length, is kind of like... I'm doing my hair a little bit shorter on top and then it gets much longer as it goes down. Yeah. So I'm going to give it like that fiery look that I was kind of giving... Um, the tail. tail earlier. Now, if you just kind of like make your lines coming over the um back of the neck, you'll have like that. But don't do too many little lines because we're still gonna ink it. Yeah, you just want kind of like a just, which we'll probably do either later today or tomorrow. So now the mane coming coming on the other side, just kind of drooping behind the head. It's gonna be right down here. Nice, Kyle. 
Thanks. So now, if if you want to, you can add some last minute edits to your head. Maybe give more of that muscle look. Yeah. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna personally do Kyle's already done it is erase your sketch lines. I kind of wait a little bit to do that. But it's okay, like maybe if you want to do one section, like just the back, then erase your sketch lines. I'll then move on. Yeah, I, I, I erase my sketch lines as I'm going and I complete what I need the sketch lines for. That's when I erase it. Oops. Shaking the table a little bit. Very shaky desk. Sticky eraser. If you to put it, so it grips the paper really, really well. That means when it moves, it takes, it erases quite well. All right. There you Looking have it. really good. Is there any last steps we want to put in? Shading, maybe? Like the shadow under it? Yeah, but we want to do that kind of with our color because we know where the shading is going to be. Like it's going to be down. I know, but under it. Like on the actual floor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Because I always do that with my. I'm drawings. not going to do it. You can if you'd like, but what I'm going to do to help me is I'm going to make. I'm going to try and make my lines very, very thin. But dark it on where the shadow's gonna be. For all of you that was wondering, uh, inking is gonna be part two. Yeah. All right, I have to switch pencils. Give me a sec. My ran out of lead. Where's my other pencil? Uh, um, did it fall off the desk? Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. I have all my different type or different colors but simmer pencil nice okay. I love these pencils I'll probably buy like an eight pack of them so now you can kind of do the eye however you want yeah I think I'm actually gonna leave my eye not coloring it black like I normally do with most of my animals I'm just gonna do that uh like that because I'm going to want my eye pink. Your eye pink? Uh-huh. Or nice. a blue eye. Yeah. One so just those. any last minute details? Like uh, the rings on your horn. Yeah. I'm giving my guy a little bit of detail here and there. But if you don't want to add any last minute details, then you have officially drawn a unicorn. Give, your, give yourself a round of applause. Good job. That was really fun. I so I think it. I'm done with my sketch. I'm not. I'm still going to do the bottom shading. So since the way I personally draw my horses, well, anything really, is I give a, a nice, I want to darken my sketch so that when we go to inking, I can put a new piece of paper over it. And then I can take my inking pen, so I'm just going to be using a Sharpie fine liner pen very thin I'll be using the same thing um over it oh then you get like because like um if you'll see like there's kind of like smudges maybe the camera's not picking it up but there is definitely smudges coming off of it because my pinky right here is always pressing against the paper yeah, so it'll same. smudge it mine does that more because I'm left-handed and yeah. he's right-handed and my hand normally goes on most of the drawing So, do any of the final last touches you want, and that's pretty much it for this vid. So, uh, part two for the unicorn drawing, how to draw a unicorn will be inking. This is sketching. See you guys in the next vid. See ya.